Previously on Canada's Next Top Model, j e m a n u e l surprised the girls. They claimed their space. In this one, in this one. Yeah. Then, no, I gotta pick one girl. Heather was chosen twice. You. As the girl most likely to claw her way to the top. It doesn't cause any hostility or anything. At the photo shoot, yeah, Brandy okay. wowed Hold everyone. On. I've never met a girl this together. Don let it out. <laughs> Tanika let it all hang out. And in the end, Sylvie's attitude at judging you know what? knocked her out. Now nine girls remain. Who will be eliminated tonight? I still don't really believe that I'm not eliminated. I keep waiting for them to be like, "Oh, we made a mistake." Recall. Ciao. E oggi c'è s t a t una delle eliminazioni. Eliminazioni. Oggi. Congratulations, girls. You survived your first week. I know it's been hard, but you pulled through. Enjoy yourselves, Trisha. Brandy didn't cheers. I did. I cheers. She didn't come over. Girls want to be friends. That's cool, but it's a competition. I'm here to win. I have a spider bite, and it's infected. I can eat anything I want uh, compared to these girls, and not worry too much about gaining weight. I think I'm gonna last very long. My butt is too big, <laughs> so. I wrap it in saran wrap and then it sweats. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. only water weight. It's still weight. This competition is completely changed now. It's anybody's game. They know that I'm the competition, and I guess they have to step their game up. We're having so much fun. Like, um, you should see like what we drive in. Like, we got picked up. Three black tinted Escalades. We drive in like this group of three, and like it's so funny. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. morning. It's makeover day. Woo! We want to give you all radical new looks. You all met Paul, celebrity hair and makeup stylist. I want to introduce you to Greg Winsell. Not only my personal stylist. But also one of the top Canadian fashion and advertising hair and makeup stylists, and Gino Garcia, a color master, who we've flown in specially to take care of you guys. So let's get downstairs and find your chairs. That's the first one to get down here. I'm so excited. Woo! Ray, see my name. I'm right here. I didn't see my name anywhere beside a chair. I don't see, I don't see no brandy. Brandy, we're gonna deal with you later. Okay. Okay. I can just chill. You can just chill. What's going on here? I don't get a makeover. Tamika, we want to give you warm chocolate brown extensions. <sighs> Elenia. We're gonna take off maybe a couple of inches. We're gonna keep a more blow-dried round brushed out. Heather, we want to give you quite a drastic cut. <sighs> Cece, we're going to put a gloss all over the hair just to make it really, really shiny. Alana, we want to do a solid color, chestnut red. Then I'm going to compliment you with a beautiful <laughs> dawn, a beautiful green green eyes. <laughs> Natalie. If we go lighter, it's going to add some much more versatility for you. Don, you have high school hair. <laughs> Andrea, I could totally see see you being a couture girl and having long hair that you can work and have tons of different. Yes, looks. I would love to have fiery red, oh, yeah. long <laughs> so hair. It's going to be very strong. Thank you so much. 
She's so right about the high school thing. This really is how my hair has been since high school. <laughs> She's like, you're like the girl next door. I'm a little bit scared. We're gonna do this in stages, let you get a little used to it, okay? It's well, just hair, yeah. You gotta get too attached to the hair. I don't know. Why? You only live once, you have the same hair, that's really fun. Are you gonna sort of chop it all off in one big thing? Yeah, we're taking the whole ponytail off. Ready? You wanna say goodbye to it? Hold it up. Okay, wait. Oh my God. That's I yours. Know. I don't know, I thought Heather looked like she was gonna cry all day. I've, I've been so attached to my hair forever. Yeah, a little pissy. I was like choking back tears all day. My boyfriend is gonna feel it. He sees my hair. Any time in my life when I feel a little, you know, bored or something weird happens and I, you know, can't deal, I go get a tattoo or a piercing or dye my hair pink. Um, how do you, uh, how do you feel? So, this is nothing. Yeah. Sexy, huh? And we're gonna sew the extensions to the braids. The problem is, is we need a panel of hair to act as a closure to make it look natural so I could lie it over the wefts. You guys are scaring me. No, I don't. <laughs> well, it gets hard when you don't know the, the history of, yeah. of your hair, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And mixing chemicals and stuff like that because then it's like we don't really have a guideline to follow. I'm extremely, extremely nervous right now. Tanika was an absolute pain in that. the rear all day long. Oh, and guess what? Well, we don't want it either. I've never worked with somebody so irritating. I mean, I don't want my hair to fall off. And demanding in my whole career. And I've seen a lot of irritating and demanding people. Trust me. Just don't make my hair fall out. She's a diva. Beyond. There's a lot of talent in my head. That's different. What do you think? Wow! Already you can see the cheekbones. Models have high cheekbones. Okay, Andrea, I think you're ready for Christopher to start raising you. Are you excited? I'm totally excited about getting this look. It'll look awesome. Oh my god. I am so happy. You and I are getting the longest hair. The color of my hair is going to be a dark red, so. This is the hair extension, so about that color. I thought they were going to cut my hair even shorter, and I just finished that phase in my life where I didn't want short, short hair. So I was very nervous that it was going to happen again. Oh my god, that's how short it's going to be? She's stuck in high school where, you know, I want, where's my pretty hair? They just whack it off on you? Yeah. How are you feeling? I don't know. There's going to be shoots you go on where... You know, you're not really going to think that you look that pretty, but we're going to be like, oh, it's so edgy, it's so cool, it's so fashionable, and you're going to have to own that look. Do you know what I mean? So you can't rely on your hair to give you confidence. <laughs> she hated her hair. She hated her hair. All it the other, amazing. I know it looked amazing. All the other girls embraced her hair. All the other, amazing. I know it looked amazing. All the other girls embraced their hair. She was the only one that was just biting it. Stage two. Ding, ding, ding. We gotta like lighten your eyebrows too now to match it up with your hair. So you know we're doing your hair purple day. <laughs> yep. That's from tingly, it ain't working, honey. Yeah. Okay, we decided pre-makeover that Brandy was pretty much flawless as is. There was no change that we wanted to do dramatically to her. Okay, Brandy, when you first came downstairs, we didn't have a chair for you because we didn't think it was necessary to give you a radical change. But what we do have to work on is your style and take you away from this music video girl. I don't even need a pillow. Like, <laughs> when I see my mom, she's not going to know who I am at the airport. <laughs> Models have to be versatile. So I decided to join in the action. I've had short red hair, had long blonde hair, I've had long black hair, I've had White hair, I've even had blue yeah. hair for Versace. Right now. <laughs> you gotta work around the damage. You can't work around a design right now. Yeah. You get what I'm exactly. saying? Then the person I did it wasn't professional, so it, there was about three different colors. Like, even with the dark brown, it was different and layered. So. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, so Gina's been dealing with it. A uh, hard time, eh? Hard time, yeah. <laughs> You're still gonna look amazing. It's gonna be great. We just have, might to, have to alter change our plan. Change gears. Plans. Right. We're gonna change gears. So do a dry cut, whatever you can salvage, and then we'll go in and create. It's gonna be great. Oh 
I said we whack it all off. Give her something that's sharp. Hi, mommy. So take she's got minute. Yeah, she's got a dramatic look. How are you? No use stopping here, baby. We've come too far. You're too close. You're too close. You're too close. No cigar. Let's go. Okay. Let's go smoke one. Yeah. <laughs> they were going to give me long hair extensions, and it was red. It was awesome. And then last minute, they said no, and they cut it all off. It's so short. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Uh, I really like it, and you know what? It, it gives me a lot of confidence because it's, I look very, very different now. <laughs> Now, I thought she was one of my favorite transformations today. I just, just gave her a little bit of a bang, and she was on, man. That girl, I could see her walking down a runway. I could, like, I could see her anywhere in my world. My two biggest fears of being eliminated first and just getting my hair cut, like, really short or something, like, really weird. So I'm just glad that it was a change, but not, you know, too much. Thanks, Mom. It's really short, Mom. Why were you crying? What's wrong? When you guys said you were going to make it long, I was... I was all excited. Excited. Well... But when you get into this market, it's like, well, this is all new for you, and you have such a unique look. We really have your best intentions in mind. Absolutely. That's okay? why I bought in with this... Okay. You know what? But we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work, it's going to be better than it yeah, was. It's going to be a huge change, but it's going to be an amazing change. Let's chop her up! Let's do it! Okay. <laughs> Well, if anything, this will give you some strength. Mm -hmm. And this is doing a lot for you. You look beautiful, kid. You're welcome. I think, honestly, that I probably had more hair at birth than I have right now. Good. There we go. But the color on her hair today, I have to tell you, was, like, solid. One like of the those... best colors I think I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Back in the salon, I felt like I was overlooked by Paul because he just went straight for the pretty girls like Brandy or Dawn and he probably doesn't see any potential in me and I, I felt very hurt because I do see potential in myself. I guess my hair makeover is not as dramatic as some of the other girls but then I started off with very strong black hair which made me stand out anyway. Like being Tamika as her name. Um, that's cool. She's, she's a pretty powerful yeah. personality. Yeah. But you know it's just gonna be a bitch. Gonna be me. I love that. There's certain people here that I could see need this competition to learn and go a bit further, and then there's some people who are like snakes. Some people who have venom inside of them. Mm. The person I'm speaking of, specifically, is Brandy. She scares me. Still really good. Yes. I went through a lot of trouble with this makeover today. I probably took the longest out of all the girls here. The hair extensions were too tight and, you know, I was thinking that my brain was going to get pulled out. How are you feeling? She's in pain. I'm concentrating. But if I told her modeling if it hurts, it looks good. It's really tight. It's it's super tight? Yeah, extremely tight. But like it looks it, good, right? But is it, like, is it hurting you? Oh, it's like, mm, it's okay. Have you had this done before? Oh, I've had it done multiple times before. And is it, has it hurt this much? It's never hurt this much. So then what do you, you want to do about it? You can't do anything. You can't? Like you have to take it, right? Do you? It's cool. You got a, you're gonna have a cranky ass roommate now, girl. Whew. I'm telling you, she does not look happy. <laughs> she doesn't at all. Look at you all pretty and all tired of bags. I'm really happy with what they did with my hair. Good. I love it. I love it. And she made it really easy for me to work with her. Where some of the other girls back girl sat there. That girl herself before she even came to the show. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. She's trying to Tyra. Yeah. She's giving angles and going, hey. How tired am I? <laughs> this side's better too, actually. Look, I'm more tired on the right. <laughs>
I am in a lot of pain, I can't lie, but my hair looks awesome. The color choice is absolutely amazing. The hair extensions work, so I'm happy. I walked in here, I thought I was beautiful. Now I truly believe that I can be a supermodel. Natalie, she's a big girl. But there's room for big girls in this world. There are totally going to be 90s back at the house tonight. I don't think there's going to be a bitch fest, though. I think it's going to be more like, oh my gosh, you look so beautiful. Oh no, you look so beautiful. Ah. It's going to be gross. <laughs> Knowing that I still have a lot of length, it makes me feel great. And I love it. I love the color. I love the cut. Name, yeah. Love her. Flawless, professional, oh, yeah. adult. Yeah, I agree. I think the other girls are gonna feel a bit threatened by me now with my new look. You have the most stunning green eyes and the red definitely complements it. So I think this is one of the best transformations today. I'd like to say so too. You know, I just gotta teach you how to dress, cause girl, your style <laughs> sucks. You gotta buy a fashion magazine, honey, because like you were so know, off the money, you are just lucky you had a one of those freaky looks that we kept you on. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you. The long hair uh, was very desired. I wanted long hair, no questions asked. It's been seven years, it's a long time. Uh, now that the finished pro product has been successful during her photo shoot, I love it. And I don't want anything else but this. After she had her nervous breakdown and called her mommy, she went from a little girl to a woman, man. Like, it, it was unreal. Like, I didn't even think she was that pretty at first, but then when we were done with her today, and she she changed her movement, changed. She's, she looked lengthened. She looked like she looks like a real model. Now Trisha had wanted me to hand you guys girls out these makeup survival kits that every supermodel oh should have. Come on over, grab it's them. It's all cover, girl. Some mascara in there, take everything one, to one. keep you. Um, take one, take one. Keep you good and alert. Oh my God, I need this. <laughs> Okay, this girls, you know what? Why don't you all just go home now? Oh, yeah. Okay. You guys are tired, I'm sure. We're sick of you. Thank uh, <laughs> somebody's breath smells. <laughs> I never thought that I could be so beautiful. Gosh, what some hair color does for you? Mm -mm. There's a girl on the show. She is, I believe, my new best friend. Yes. I think it, it makes absolute sense that Tanika and Andrea are great friends and they're you know having this alliance you're just like my sister because neither of them think they're direct competition just when you think you have a little bit of privacy around here oh my god <laughs> i know that i'm not the right size and i'm about like five inches bigger than the girl that's the biggest i love natalie I love how you always make my day. <laughs> Cece, this tastes like shit. Really? No. It's good. I'm losing weight. Why? I don't know. In fact, this is my problem. It always happens this way. My body just loses weight. It's sad. Look at the bum. I, I think it, it makes absolute sense that Tanika and Andrea are <laughs> great friends and they're having this alliance. It was a very difficult day, and I tell you this much, I don't know about you, how you deal with it. I think it's by talking to a friend, yeah. but mine is my mom, but I regret not talking to you first. Neither of them think they are direct competition. And my parents are gonna leave tomorrow. If I don't talk to them tonight, I don't get to talk to them for another week. They're going to Jamaica tomorrow. They're gonna be so much farther away. Honestly, they're the only things that keep me going in this stupid competition, and you are too. You're, you're just like my sister. This is so hard. I never said that. Right. I'll be sitting in the corner, doing my own thing, just, just thinking about things that I want to do and want to accomplish. They'll be like, "Oh, Brandy's really quiet. Why are you so quiet, Brandy?" And I'm like. It's not that I'm, I'm quiet, I'm just, you know, sometimes I need my own space. <laughs> Natalie and I got along really well. I'd say that she was probably the closest person to me in the house. Come on, Don, let's, let's do some pancake movies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just do it. give me the real pancake movie. I don't really have pancake movies. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I do have a boyfriend and I do miss him very much just because uh, we've been best friends for about two years. Is it still not working? Yeah, everything's going well. Um, it's definitely long days. It's really hard work. Hey, babe, it's me. I uh, just thought I'd try again. I, but, uh, I missed your call when I was in a meeting. Yeah. Well, that's meeting. what I figured. I was like, it's like 8.30 in the morning. He's probably in a meeting and right I'm now. Like, I literally, I slept with the phone the whole night. It did not leave my, it has not left my side to this day. <laughs> Baby, don't party too hard, okay? It is hard being away from somebody that you're constantly with every single day. And I miss you, baby. I miss you. <laughs> Hey, don't be sad, man. I feel sad, though. I just feel lonely. Do you want me alone? It's starting to feel like I have to let loose. I don't want you guys to think that you guys can't talk to me because it's, it's really hard, you know? We might need another group hug, guys. <laughs> I want to win this. I'm not trying to make friends. Yeah, you know, at some point, you need shoulder to cry on and stuff, but... I could care less who goes. She's willing to wrap her little snake self around anyone she needs to and choke the life out of them to get where she needs to be. I need some wine, guys. I seriously do. Unfortunately, we drank it all. I need some wine to release my stress. <sighs> like to get drunk. <laughs> Today we woke up fairly early and we came down to the set where we we're gonna do a photo shoot. The photo shoot started with hair and makeup. We had no idea what was going on. I need you gorgeous girls to come with me. I'm gonna take you down to set. And it was really creepy just going down the stairs because it was cold and dark. And then we walked into this huge room. It's extremely dark except for one light. And then a couple more just boom on. Ladies, welcome to the Fight Club. <laughs> Ladies, welcome to the Fight Club. This is your wardrobe. She has this little string bikini that she's holding dangling in her hands, and I'm like, bikini shots! So I'm like, yeah! I love this. I, I love showing my body shape and everything in these kind of... So good. This is hot. <laughs> I guess everyone feels a bit self-conscious about the, their body. Bathing suit issue <laughs> was really nerve-wracking, so I was kind of iffy on the whole thing. You know, you can tell who feels really confident and like who kind of you was like, you know, bathing suit, really? Hello? Get in those pits. Yeah. We're sorry for you. The shoes I'm not used to wearing. I don't really wear high heels. Um, I wear skate shoes most of the time, so walking around in the heels is a little bit dangerous. We were all looking at each other, and it's just like, wow, it, this game is on. <laughs> like, this really is Fight Club. You look like an African princess. I feel so hot. I mean, I didn't get a chance to glance in the mirror, but just from other people's reaction to it, I feel like a supermodel. It is absolutely amazing. You get five minutes of personal coaching time in the ring with Trisha. We're looking for editorial. This is what you see in the high fashion magazines. We're not afraid to show expression. If you want to laugh, if you want to scream, whatever you want to do, now's the kind of photo shoot to try it. I really want to make you look very strong, very tall. Emphasize that. Start that way. Keep in mind Fight Club. I feel perfectly fine about wearing a small bikini in a photo shoot. I go to the beach all the time and I wear bikinis there, so why should I feel less comfortable doing it here? you look off, you're looking at something. Working with Trisha was absolutely amazing today. I mean, I felt like I was learning so much from her. She, she directs so well and, you know, I, I felt even more confident with her being there. The other day she was so frightened and lost and flailing and she's kind of, the kind of pendulum swung too much to the other end where she's just like, she was bestial and animalistic today. At least she's experimenting, you know? 
I love that one. I mean, I know. I think I definitely wowed them, so I'm so happy right now. End of round one. I'm a little bit nervous right now. I guess the whole swimsuit thing is a bit, you know, iffy. <laughs> Because you're not wearing a whole lot of clothes, but are you ready to fight? I am. Round two. It's really weird to see yourself sort of all greased up and wearing this sort of thing. And, you know, I've got no hair now, so it's it took a lot of getting used to when I first seen it. But I liked it. And actually, I was pretty confident going in there at first because, you know, I've got, like, this, this sexy new little haircut. And I have this sexy little suit on. So I really tried to step up my game. You know, a lot of times in modeling, if you're going to scream, it's a, it, it's a silent... Screen. Working with Trisha was wonderful. She definitely knows what she's talking about. She was very encouraging. Yeah, yeah. Anything that I've ever had to do in front of people, you, you gotta, I, can't, I can't think because my heart is beating so loud in my ears and my like chest. Not even once today. I, I didn't get nervous, didn't get the shakes, nothing. I was so stoked about going into that shoot. Working with Trisha was just surreal. Like it just to, to look at her and you know seeing her up close, she's stunning. Like just and you know she sits there and she does all this so naturally. I was watching her and I was like, how do you do that? <laughs> I'm gonna maybe get you to get some more expression. I don't think Dawn has learned to trust herself, but it's all very new to her. We want to show like energy. How are you feeling right now? Very fat. Like in your stomach? All the time. I'm told. Trisha, suck in your gut. Trisha, suck in your gut. They already need to lose like 6,000 inches, and I know that, but it doesn't, you know, happen overnight. All the other girls are like, you know, half of me. Ah! Exactly. I know for a human, I look hot. It's just for a model that I don't. I don't think Natalie felt comfortable in the suit. I don't think she realized how great she looked at it. To work with Trisha, like, at first when I saw her, I was a little like, oh my gosh, here we go. And then when I started and I saw how natural she could do poses, it made me almost jealous, like, I can do this too. At the beginning of the competition, I felt like, why am I here? what is different between me and every other girl. And uh, now I feel like, you know what? I'm the only girl who can win this. No one else has got it. It's me. <laughs> what pisses you off? When somebody's whispering about me, and I don't know if it's about me, okay. but I think I'm it is. Okay, I'm whispering about you. I want to drop the chin a little bit more. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. I don't want to, like, seem like too cocky about myself or anything, but I do stand out from the group. I work on my body a lot. I try to maintain it. I was like listening to my iPod. I was like, okay, I'm totally gonna like get myself ready for this. And I was, I had that, that thought and that feeling. I was getting myself in the mood. Watch your jaw, Brandy. Yeah, you're tightening your jaw. Brandy just needs to relax. I think she wants this a lot and she's, you know, serious. The whole experience is new. Sometimes you win a fight by not fighting at all. Hold back anything because you know, Spike Club, you know, you gotta be tough. So she brings out these like punching gloves and she's like standing there holding them. She's like, punch as hard as you can. I'm strong, she can hit. Watch TV. So I just like had to swing like so many times as hard as I could and she was just holding it there and it was pretty cool. I think it'll make a good shot if it turns out. So, you know, one simple mistake in a photo shoot or anything can totally eliminate you from the group. Yeah. I'm a bit worried. In a shoot like this, don't be afraid to have a bad frame. Everybody's going to get bad frames where you're trying something. Yeah, even that. All right. Something has changed. See, now this is fantastic. It really helps me when I'm shooting because you hit something and you hold it and then you change and then you change. And that makes my job really easy. See that? There's, there's something in the eyes. Cece is a freak, but in the best possible way. I mean, she has a very arresting face. It's very different. I love this look. It's very me, actually. There was more angles to her than I thought. Yeah, if you want to be a model, you got to be confident with your own body. She could go profile and turn something and go very edgy and hard, and then all of a sudden she'd bring an arm up, up, and she would be soft. You know the first rule of Fight Club. Yeah. 
When we got home from the photo shoot, we were all feeling like super high and like felt so hot and great and like on top of the world. And then we found a DVD. Walk of fame or walk of shame. And so we're like, what's this? So we plugged it in to watch. It was not good. Not good at all. We were all sitting in the living room watching the video. Cece, you look so hot. I like your walk, man. And it's interesting how they compare the real runway model with our walk. And it's a big difference. And Heather had a great walk. The video really showed how she stood out. It was really embarrassing, and I didn't need to see that. Not after no. a good day. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Brutal. I like Tamika. You look like a jackass. Thank you. <laughs> so gnarly, though, that walk. Everything about me is so me. That shirt is so you. Yeah, Those guys are so you. She says, so you. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I go home because I'm too big to be here. Again. I will imitate one of the girls. Okay, so try to see who this one is. Like, oh my god, everybody loves me because I'm so sweet. Um, I got this um, new haircut, and the photographer asked me to scream, and I screamed like this. And then he told me to give my best, fierce look. This is what I did. And, oh, yeah, you know, oh, I miss my boyfriend. I miss you lots. Oh my god, that's the biggest ant I've ever seen! Oh my god, that's the biggest ant I've ever seen! Ah! Ah! Ew! You're so f***ing boring. Obviously, it's nerve-wracking and wonder if you're going home or not. What model has 40-inch hips? I mean, what model has 36 or 37-inch hips and can be a factor? Well, no one. It doesn't happen. I don't know who's going to be eliminated today. I know it's not going to be me. I know that for sure. It's week two, and our judges are getting to know you a little bit better. Stacy McKenzie, who has ruled the runways of Europe. You guys look fabulous. Paul Benoit, international celebrity hair and makeup stylist. Ladies. Jeannie Becker, the host of Fashion Television. Pretty incredible, girls. And our guest judge this week, Greg Wenzel. You ladies all look hot if I do say so myself. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever becomes Canada's next top model gets a modeling contract from top agency Sutherland Models. They'll be featured in an editorial spread in Fashion Magazine, and they'll walk away with a $100,000 beauty contract from Procter & Gamble, makers of Nice and & Easy and CoverGirl. You're looking pretty good for girls who just did a round in the ring. <laughs> but I have to tell you that some of you lack punch. You have to come out fighting every time, because every time you have to be picture perfect. Now it's time for your individual assessments, and we're starting with a judging test. Elenia, you're going to be first. I'd like the rest of you to leave the room now. We want to put your professional judgment to the test. Based solely on what you've learned so far about modeling, who would you send home this week? Um, I think Cece. She's not very confident in what she's doing. Okay. Thank you. Today, the judges give us a very tough question. Who would you send home this week? Um, based on what I've learned about the industry, I think a top model has to have the edge, the look, the beauty, and brain, yet the personality to stay strong in the business and do well. And I will have to say Alina. Thank you. Alina. Tanika. Cece. I would send her home. I really can't say. I think I would send home Natalie. I would have to say Andrea. That was a little manipulative. <laughs> I think the only person that I probably would say is Cece. Somebody has to go home. I would send home Cece.
Tamika. Please step forward. There was a big difference from the first photo shoot to this photo shoot. You really have that, that self-awareness, truly a, a great kind of physical uh, sense of yourself. The body looks experienced. The face, to me, looks like it's like your first shoot. Dawn. I personally don't like this picture. I think you could have done a way better job. Your face, it looks all right. The body is just not on point for me. Before you go in front of the camera, you should go in front of that mirror. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And play with, look at me, and play with shapes and see what works for you. Honestly, like how, how comfortable do you really feel? I'm getting a little better. <laughs> Heather. I think it's very strong. We did have a little bit of trouble with your face. We didn't feel what you were thinking. I think it's a great shot. I, I think that your body looks super strong. I love your chin. You know, you're very thin, but you, your legs could use a little toning. You look like a Bond girl. <laughs> Andrea, there's a body language there that I didn't think was possible coming out of that little frame. Legs for days. I love that you were able to get this work out of your shoulder because that's usually very difficult for beginners. I like this. Oh, yeah, my arms. Yes. It's because I'm so cold that my body has extra hair now. And I think you should either shave them or wax them. In some of your close-ups, it was very, very prominent. Alana, I think your profile was very strong. It seems like you're into sports. Yeah, I used to be a gymnast. Try and feminize it so maybe you don't notice that as much. Cece. Wow. wow. Oh, my gosh. If I didn't know better, I would think that you'd been shooting editorial for with tons of experience for two years. I was completely in shock. You have a gift. You could be a top model. You have the potential. Half of the people who will probably watch this think... I'm here to represent hundreds, thousands of Asian girls in this country. You're here to represent yourself. Stop putting the big burden on your shoulders to represent all the Asian girls out there. Elena. You have to start to learn your light. Yes. Because of your eye shape, the light needs to hit you particularly a little bit more straight on. You were probably the one that gave the most expression with your face. He looks a bit like a mannequin to me in that shot. Brandy. We had trouble with your mouth. It looks really tense and jutting the jaw out. That's messed up, girl. Beauty on a runway and beauty in a photograph are two completely different things. So I've seen two photo shoots now of you. And I'm thinking you got to start working a little bit harder in front of that camera. I don't know if you have the same want as the other girls. How about do you want this? Is Very this bad. Yeah. I can taste it. Natalie, you went to an extreme that none of the other girls went to. There's a story going on there. I find that to be really compelling. Uh, it's not just about striking, you know, a, a freaky or offbeat pose. It's, there's a vulnerability or uh, some kind of humanity coming through. Uh, Earlier, we asked you, if it was your choice, who would you send packing this week? Greg, will you turn around the suitcase, please? These are the names of the girls that you guys chose. I was the person who most of the girl picked. Cece, you got four votes. They think you need to work on your confidence. Oh, it's definitely going to bother me that, you know, half of these girls think I should be sent home. You know, I'll be lying if I say, oh, I don't care. Of course I do. Now we're going to deliberate and see if we come to the same decision. Andrea. Come on. She's never had experience before. She just was one of those that just fell into the position. I think she's flawless and she has it, but she doesn't have the confidence to pull it off. Miss Brandy. I'm just still a little concerned about this mouth. You gotta get off your high horse about that mouth thing. She had time to work on it and nothing changed. Alana. She's just boring. She's like, 
the regular girl next door. Dawn. When I asked her how she felt in front of the camera, she was like, well, scared. Then why do you want to be a model? I think she'd get eaten alive. Heather has to work a little bit more on her confidence. I love those eyes, those big expressive eyes, big expressive eyes. She's already aged in her face. Bring on the Botox, oh, baby. Oh, come on. <laughs> CC. I would have had her voted off the island immediately. Sweetie, if she's going to produce a picture like this, then let the girl freak out. <laughs> she wants it so badly. For some reason, though, everyone around her has a problem with it. They want her out. Because they know that she's competition. Yeah. Cece, I'm going to see you right here next week. <laughs> that does not work well with others. Tanika. <laughs> I'm just worried that maybe she's a little too big for her britches at this early stage. Elena. She's a very beautiful girl, drop dead, but I don't see a top model material. Natalie. She's got an amazing face, and she has incredible eyes, and she's got those lips. She laid down on the floor with her legs spread and laid backwards. See, I'm loving it, love her. Maybe Canada's next top model can be someone that's like, so unexpected that I, I want to be surprised. I want to I want to see someone make it that I never normally would have thought could make it. I have nine beautiful ladies standing in front of me, but I have only eight photographs. When I call your name, you are still in the running to be Canada's next top model. Alana, we need to start seeing some fire from you in this competition. You have a limited time to prove yourself. Heather, you are one of the girls with the least experience, but your beauty and grace intrigue us. Tanika, congratulations. Elena, you proved me wrong. You can be versatile. Andrea, you have to connect more with your eyes. Natalie. But we're still not sure of your long-term potential. Thank you. Cece. You gave us a stunning photo. So we're going to give you another week. Thank you. Brandy, Dawn, would you please step forward? I have one photograph in my hand. This photograph represents the girl that will continue in the running to be Canada's next top model. The other girl needs to go back to the house, pack her bags, and leave. Brandy, you have a fabulous body, but we worry that you only have one look. We worry that you may not be cut out for high-end fashion. Dawn, beauty is not enough. We think the camera scares you. Brandy, you're still in the running to be Canada's next top model. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Two of us were left. It was it was really intense. 
you know, just trying to stand there and you're just, you're shaking and she said, Brandy, I was just, I didn't, I didn't want to cry. <laughs> I felt like I wanted to, but I didn't want to because I, I don't know, I just had a gut feeling all day, so. Getting eliminated definitely gives you a blow to your ego. It, it doesn't feel great. <laughs>